you got a rock, rock, you know, might be gone there for 20, 30 years. And you might think you know it all, but you might die of an age of 80 years of age, you know nothing. That's how people got a word, and they say, You've got to get into the mind and bust it open so that you can see. Open it spiritually. Up. Spiritually open it. That's it. You know, you can go all around Australia looking at, oh, beautiful country, look at that thing. Till you get one of the tradi- one of the custodians that can interpret the land to you that, oh, that's what you're talking about. Then you about. get a better idea, then you, you get, get a better idea. My name is Mick McKenzie, and with me is my nephew, Jimmy Neville. And uh, we both tour guides for our cultural tours here in the Ikara Wilpina. Yulu, Yulu the kingfisher, he's the sacred kingfisher. He's only a small bird, very beautiful colours on him. And uh, uh, Walla is the, Walla is the uh, bush turkey, wild bustard. Them two was the one. And the Akura serpents, you won't find them, but they here, yeah, see behind us, right there, that's where they metamorphosize. Hmm. Alright, Ikara is a meeting place uh, for all our Anyamata people, Uras. We identify, we call ourselves Yura here, yeah? and the Uratus and Uramiru, you know, they had a woman in that. Uh, it all started from uh, Kalkapuna, which is in Kuyani country with the Yulu, the kingfisher. He was a kingfisher man coming down. And also the Akuras were involved, is where they come down. And if you see on the aerial view where you can see the two Akuras, serpents coming down from Aruna Akura, oh yeah. With our people, our ancestors gone before us, they recorded these events. Akura rock inside like is like a mouth opening up, serpent's mouth, and all the paintings there. And you have to be quiet to go in there. When we go there, we say, Yard and I wouldn't know the Nangamane. We just tell them. Tell them. The old elders say. Yeah, let them know that mm. there's only us walking around there. You know, you've got to tell the people, somebody made that. See, somebody painted that, we've got to respect that. Ngapara, you're around. Our old people. You know, from the right hand side there on the corner there, you'll see all these dark lines. That's where the men lined up there, protecting the women and children from these two big akuras disturbing the land. They talk about an ancient seabed. We got a history of uh, ancient flooding. You know, Mura has been passed down where the akuras were floating up. When it rained and rained and rained, you know, the waters rose, you know, all that. And then you see two yellow line with the black trimming. That's the two aquarists. Then you see a circle, then with all these little notches around it, that's the people sitting. Ikara. Here, see? Then you see, like, not stars, that's the animals, birds that are flying away from these aquarists. All the animals were here, like that, you know? That black line that you see in the left-hand corner up at the top there before there, where all the crosses are. You have a look at that there, really good. It, it looks like the horizon of the hills. Yeah. See? So they were doing little geographics <laughs> back in those days. Nowadays, what we probably say, it's a diary or recording of the actual events. What happened, see? The story. Yeah, the murder. Story passes down. You know? So those old people, they witness these things. You see in these mountains uplifted from the uh, Akuras. Uh, there was an archaeological dig there, uh, just to get how old it was. And I asked him, how old did you get any radiocarbon dating on that? And he said, oh, it was about twelve to 15,000 years. But apart from that, 40% of it was just mascara and lipstick so that they can paint over the top of it there for their cameras because of the desecration. That's why we have a cage That's why the on there now to protect, it. to protect it. The ochre 
for example, there's about seven or eight different shades of ochre in there, of red ochre. One particular ochre is the best one in Australia. And it comes from a place called Rukuta, because it used to be the old trade route. That's why we still have it here, that all the Euros come here. See? That's why it's called a meeting place. Everyone in Australia, before pre-European, come here and took that ochre back.